that was our our boy John Donovan. This a nice place. Thinking of sticking around later. Uh, constantly. Nope, oh, nope. Gotta unload some bread in downtown. She's stuck behind a dump truck. Come on. Inside man. You've upgraded the consigliere. She now has an inside man. You're now able to see all nearby enemies through intel view without wiretapping. And when called, the consigliere will automatically collect any available kickback. Need to make a deposit That's not sick. Bonsoir, chef. Finally, we can talk about Tony D'Orazio. Okay, I think we're gonna draw him out somewhere. Wow, this is like a giant traffic circle. Actually, that's exactly what it is. Johnny! If you're ready to lay hand. How did you manage to get to Tony DeRazio? I had bugs and wiretaps all over the damn place. When that weirdo left the Royal Hotel to deal with one of his men, I was listening. Oh, God. Tony, I didn't know you was coming. I'm just packing away your latest shipment. How long have you been running this business, Joe? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Five, six years? Five years, three months, and 18 days. Well, this is turned. Look, I, I know I've been lied, but it ain't my fault. I've always placed a premium on maintaining order. If you let the rot set in, eventually it will take hold and destroy everything you've built. The only solution is to isolate it, eradicate it before it takes hold. You understand, Joe? Gross, Donnie, you gotta listen to me. Some nuts out there shooting the hell out of everything. You know how many of my men he killed? Yes. <laughs> Dominic, is it? You will take the armored car and personally oversee the collection of all outstanding monies owed to us. Am I clear on this? Y yes, Mr. Razio. Once you have collected what is due, deliver it directly to me at the hotel. The code to the elevator is 0451. Lincoln had a couple of options. He could use the elevator code and go into the lobby, which meant shooting the hell out of the place. Or he could steal Dominic's car and go in quiet through the hotel's parking garage. When you're in the hotel, grab a couple of those little fancy soaps. <laughs> they won't give me any more at the motel. Yeah, let me grab some soaps while I'm in there. Hey, uh, Tony, could you pass the soaps while you're, uh, dying on the floor in pain? What's taking so long? I give it a month. Yeah, what a month? What are you whispering for? Before Tony and Dominic. That's fucked up, man. I give it six months, at least. Well, there goes Dominic.
I'd rather just... Oh my... I'm going into the garage. Crap, did one of the tires get popped? Oh my god, this thing is a battering ram. Better believe I'm going in through the parking garage. Pull on in, Dominic. Park anywhere. I already screwed this up. Good God. How? Oh, that's, that's a bit of a glitch. Come on. Come on. Come here. Oh my God. Now I can't even hit this guy. Look, you can't hit him. It's like the window is impenetrable. Okay, whatever. That works. That works. Let's go meet our boy Tony. So, 0451. Or, I don't even know if we need the code. I gotta hear stories about some some bitch running all over the goddamn place, smashing our shit to pieces. I wanna know what the fuck's going on down there. You hear me? It would be difficult not to. What? I've already taken the appropriate steps to address the situation. Believe me, things are well in hand. Well, they fucking better be. This thing with the judge goes sideways. Shit's gonna roll downhill real fucking quick. We haven't lost anything of any significance except for some men. And they can be replaced. In fact, they're the easiest thing to replace. Give two shits Wait, about doesn't he see me on the camera? All he cares about is the people that matter. Understand? I understand completely. And you have my word that all payments will continue as scheduled. None of our business associates need to concern themselves with our recent difficulties. Yeah? Okay. I'm counting on you here, Tony. Don't fuck this up. Goodbye. He definitely saw me, right? There's no way he didn't. Oh, he's a Molly's. Take the rest of the day off. Okay, here's the thing, Congressman. When Mr. Durazio made his very generous com- Oh, shit. Right now? Okay. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. Follow him. See if you can get any pictures of him in the act. Then get your butt right back here. Yeah, a hundred like we agreed. Ah! 
Kill them all. Kill them all. Okay, how about this one? I know this son of a bitch has been dead since 64. Violet. But he's dead. And he owed. Maybe somebody else owed him. Don't matter. You never clear the ledger with Mr. Razio. Violet. Violet. Don't. Uh huh. No, don't worry about the start date. Mr. Durazio is going to worry about the start date. Ah! Mr. Durazio ain't going to worry about anything. Wow, that was clinical. Surgical, boys. Is Highness making an appearance today? Not yet. Guess not even catch you in here with that cigarette. myself God damn it I was hoping to I could do this without I could have I'm telling you the, the the stupid spot feature is so inconsistent man Like being spotted? So inconsistent. God damn it! He's fucking gone! What danger to find that cut? Okay. Then where you wanna look? You certainly are audacious, aren't you? Filthy fucking mongrel. Not an asshole. Whoa! Oh my god. Well, um, <laughs> that was easy. Uh, what's up, my friend? Hartman AT. How did you even get this? Oh my god. Let's, let's put him to sleep. He's all yours, boy. You really think you know how all this is going to play out, don't you? <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> Kill me. I'll be replaced tomorrow. <laughs> no one will even notice. You're wrong. Everyone will notice. <laughs> Oh, this boy's gonna fly. <gasps> or on the streets of our fair city is a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal, and that's when the shooting started. <laughs> I still don't know how the hell Lincoln got out of that hotel. Crap. I got that son, bitch. Give me a second. Whoa, what the? Oh, my. Oh, I got the, uh, looks like an Uzi. 
I'd honestly rather you just use the, the Tommy. You ain't oh, He's here. First cut's mine. Got an ah. Tommy's a classic. Come on. Down we go. Oh god, this is not. Keep your guns on that goddamn elevator. Get up and see if he's still in there. Ow. This is a Vargas painting. I want to get to that level. Oh my god, he has a gun! Oh no. Crap! I'm out of ammo. Someone's about to get Take my shot. Oh my! Business to attend to. Sorry, I need this Vargas. <laughs> Sorry, I really need this. I'm a big fan. I'm a oh, that one looked good actually. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a huge fan of Vargas. Just need to check this out. Ooh, I'm actually a fan of Vargas. Like he does good work. Or she, or whoever it is. I wonder if it's an. It's got. It's got to be an actual person, right? I'm, I'm a lot of the stuff is licensed. Oh shit! I think this boy's gone. Yes, Please tell me I can drive the car. I can drive the car with him on the back. <laughs> no way! You better believe I'm keeping this. This car is amazing. I can't believe they let you drive it. There goes Tony. There you are, lad. Looking forward to seeing where this shake goes. This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf, and in the end, my decision is final. Is this a goddamn joke? Uh, look, I know you knew you to call in the shots, but my guys are working that action as we speak. So where's the fucking question? From where I'm sitting, it looks like you already got a plan for this part of the city. This is the first I'm hearing of this shit, so I figure you got your plans worked out, but goddamn, you know how to get these white boys riled up. The sit down. You've already assigned the rackets in this district, but now you must assign the d district to one of your underbosses, and all bets are off. What? Might resent not getting a district, which could have consequences down the road, but if you really want to get the most out of any single underboss. I'm all for making a big statement right out of the gate. We got a long road ahead of us. Don't make the wrong first step, lad. What's the word? You need to show me you serious about working together. So far, I ain't seen shit. I'm sorry, I'm I gotta keep lot. it with Vito. Vito to run this turf. About fucking time. 
Always knew you had a good head on your shoulders. I'll bite my tongue and keep my eyes on the next part of the city. We good, brother. For now. As for me, I'll be biding my time and waiting for one of you assholes to fuck up. Fair warning. <laughs> We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. They're saying you threw Tony off the roof of the Royal? Actually, it was through his penthouse window. You always had a flair for the dramatic. Tony's ledger. Last couple pages are pretty interesting. Any idea what US 5CJ means? Wait a minute. Holy shit. Why is Lou willing to comp 10 grand a month at a brothel and the same at a drug den? Based on what Greco told me and Scaletta, Marcano's laying out a bunch of money to get gambling legalized. And if that's what you're after, who better to have in your pocket? Than a judge on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, US 5CJ. Exactly. There have to be over 20 judges on that bench. Could be any one of them. The kind of man we're talking about isn't used to people getting into his business. I start visiting the places listed in that ledger, he'll panic and go to Lou for help. And that's when we'll find out who he is. Keep that wiretap running. Never turn it off. Interesting. Quit daydream. I like how I got to drive the car. That's actually amazing. Let's uh let's get the consigliere real hollow. quick. Sure thing, Cher. Heading your way now. Sure thing, Cher. Now that you've evicted Tony Durazio out of his penthouse window, it's time to take out they only kicked up to Marcano's brother and capital of the French ward, Uncle Lou Marcano. This is your first step in destroying Marcano's empire, and it's a big one. Not only is Lou beloved unofficial mayor of the French ward, he also brings in massive amounts of profit and has invaluable political connections across the city. Your money is always safe with me, Cher. Your money is always safe with me. Okay, so downtown is ours. Got another talk with uh, the homie Papa James. So French Ward is next. So we're going to take out the prostitution ring, the drug ring, or we could go to Tickfall Harbor, learn a bit about that. So, kill list. We can take out Lou now, I think, because we took out Greco and Durazio. I think we're gonna go work on one of these other dudes here. So Lou's in the French ward, which is here, which is what we're gonna take out next. Or I can go do this and unlock another capo who probably be in South Downs. Yeah. South Downs or Frisco. He's going to be in one of those. I don't think he'll be in the Bayou. I think that'll probably be um, someone else. Okay. But... I'm not going to actually do those today. I'm going to go talk to Father James and then I'm going to head to bed. Always like a chat Hello. with Father James. Yeah. We need help right away. I call just came in on a car being stolen in the hollow. If there's a unit in the area, maybe stop over and see what's going on. I like how it's realistic in that, you know, if it's the hollow, they don't they don't show up very quick. They don't care. They just don't care. Whoa! 
Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> um... So sorry. Oh, there's a cop run! God, I am the worst driver. I bet Father James is going to be just pissed. James! <laughs> James, it's your boy! Sorry about the fence. I have to tell you why I became a priest. Because of what you saw during the war. That... That was a lie. I became a priest because of what I did during the war. What it turned me into. When I was over there, crammed together with all the other disposable Negroes. All the hurt, all the rage I'd accumulated over my life came boiling up, and once it was out... Well... You don't want to know. I doubt anyone's losing sleep over some dead Nazis. That's not the point. The men I killed... Killing them should have meant something to me. Should have had weight. But it didn't. And glimpsing what was buried down inside me, it... It, it was too much. I know who I am. I know you do, son. And that's what terrifies me. They say the good Lord only burdens us with what we can carry. But sometimes I wonder if that ain't a lie. Father, please, man. I'm trying to do work out here. I'm trying to get revenge. Okay, so with that, I will end this mission. This time we gonna discuss our government. Yeah, okay, so next time we can go take another guy out for Vito. Um, I like Burke, too. I'm not really a fan of Cassandra. I might not give her a lot. I don't think I will. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> She's not really that great. I'm a fan of Burke and uh, Vito. Not to say that women can't run these places, you know. It's 2016, but uh, I mean... I'd ra I just prefer Burke and uh, Vito as characters. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you another day.